What's up, everybody? It's me, Joey P. Joe Pizapia, and in a world where 64 teams vie for the national championship, we've whittled down all of those games, all of those teams, down to our favorite top 10 bets for you because you're important to us and we want you to get that information snappy on the go whenever you need it and make sure you get all those wagers in before the tournament starts and lock in those good numbers so before we get to my favorite top 10 bets for March Madness because I know you got that bracket fever baby I want to tell you about another contest that we're running for free here betting pros so right now you can enter our March Madness bracket contest at betting pros this free bracket contest comes with prizes and you can enter at bettingpros.com slash contest pretty easy right bettingpros.com slash contest or via the betting pros app which if you haven't downloaded already you should because it's amazing first place wins a lifetime premium subscription to betting pros and fantasy pros and a signed Giannis jersey what second through 10th place gets a one-year premium subscription to betting pros and fantasy pros so it costs you nothing and look at that return you're getting so download that app go enter right now at bettingpros.com or you can also enter via the betting pros app as well so let's kick things off here we go my favorite top 10 bets for march madness 2023 Number 10, Texas A&M, minus 154 on the money line versus Penn State. Now, this is the only minus you're going to see on this list of best bets, and that's because the number 7 Texas A&M Aggies have a legitimate claim to being the most under team in the field. Texas A&M went 15-3 in a conference that sent eight teams to the NCAA tournament, and the Aggies held opponents to lower than 30% from three-point range in SEC play, which will come in handy against the perimeter-happy Nittany Lions. Number 9, number 11, Pitt, plus 106 on the money line versus Mississippi State. Now, some of these teams that come out in the first four have a tendency to get hot, and Pitt could be the next one in that long line. Pitt is going to be facing a Mississippi State team that has the worst three-point field goal percentage among Division I teams at 26.6%, and the Panthers could easily get by an Iowa State team next that allows 19.9 points per game in the paint. The Pitt Panthers were the ACC's third-best three-point shooting team and the second-best in terms of adjusted offensive efficiency. Number 8, Duke to make the Sweet 16 at plus 154. The Blue Devils, fresh off winning the ACC tournament and riding a nine-game winning streak, will open their 2023 NCAA tournament facing the region's 12th seed, Oral Roberts. That should be a cakewalk for them. The two-time honorable mention All-American Max Abrams led the team in scoring with 22.2 points per game, while also grabbing 4.4 rebounds and four assists per game as well. Duke is largely known for its defense, and that should serve them well in the first few rounds of this tourney, getting them to the Sweet 16. Number seven, Creighton to make the Sweet 16 at plus 168. Creighton outscored their opponents by 8.1 points per game, scoring 76.6 points per game to rank 59th best in college basketball. They also had a plus 269 scoring differential as well. And this team rebounds, 34.8 rebounds per game. That's 35th best in all of NCAA. The Blue Jays are also making two and a half more threes per contest than their opponents, and they average 99.7 points per 100 possessions on offense, 38th best in college basketball, and allow just 89.1 points per 100 possessions. That's 112th best in college basketball. So Creighton is for real, and a good bet at plus 168 to make the Sweet 16. Number six, TCU to make the Sweet 16 plus 172. This season, TCU nearly matched last year's record 21 and 13, which also took them to the NCAA tournament. This is the first time in 70 years that this team has made the NCAA tournament in back-to-back -back seasons, and now they've made the big tournament three times in the last six years under head coach Jamie Dixon. TCU recently fell to the Longhorns 66 to 60 in the semifinal round of the Big 12 tournament last Friday, but that means TCU knows that they can hang with the best team in the nation, arguably. So TCU should build on that confidence and build that all the way to a Sweet 16 appearance at plus 172. Number five, Kent State to make the Sweet 16 at plus 710. Now, Kent State might be the 13th seed, but... The Golden Flash has ripped through the MAC tournament, winning the three games by an average of 13.3 points. They drew an Indiana team in the first round that struggles to force turnovers and allow the 12th highest offensive rebounding percentage in league play. Not to mention, they rank dead last in the leagues in free throw attempts per field goal attempt. 
Kent State is 0-3 in the NCAA tournament since 2002, making the Elite Eight, but this team is good enough to reach the second weekend, and all bets are off from there, literally, so plus 710 to make the Sweet 16 might be a better wager than you think. Number four, the Yukon Huskies to win the West region at plus 500. The Huskies enter the tournament on a 10-3 run with the three losses coming by a combined eight points to NCAA tournament team Xavier, Creighton, who we already talked about, and Marquette. No team has rebounded its own missed shots better than Connecticut and has a national best 39.2 offensive rebounding percentage. On defense, the Huskies have held opposing teams to a 45.5 effective field goal percentage, and that ranks 11th in the nation. Opponents are shooting just 30% on three-pointers against Connecticut, and Coach Dan Hurley's past two Huskies teams came up short as they lost to lower-seeded teams in the first round of the NCAA tournament. But this year, with the pieces they have, they're in a position to write their own revenge narrative. So look for UConn at plus 500 to win the West. Number three, Houston to win the national championship at plus 500. After trips to the Elite Eight and the Final Four in the past two NCAA tournaments, the Cougars reached the number one seed in the Associated Press poll for the first time in 40 years. Now they have a chance at the ultimate home court advantage with this year's Final Four being played, guess where? In Houston. The Cougars rebound and don't turn the ball over much, which is why they're the prohibitive favorite to win it all this year. But one huge caveat, the health of National Player of the Year candidate Marcus Sasser is in doubt. He suffered an apparent groin injury Saturday in the AAC Conference Tournament semifinals. If Sasser isn't healthy, the whole tournament picture could get real murky real fast. So keep a close eye on the health of Marcus Sasser and a close eye on how that health might impact this number at plus 500. Number two, Alabama to win the national championship at plus 700. The Crimson Tide inched into the best bets category Sunday after pounding Texas A&M to win the SEC tournament. Alabama operates at the fastest pace of any team in the tournament, 72.7 possessions per 40 minutes. That's ridiculous, while also leading the nation in opponents' effective field goal percentage, 41.5%. The downside of the Crimson Tide is they commit their fair share of turnovers and don't create a whole lot in terms of turnovers themselves. They rely too heavily on the three-point shot, which ironically is not exactly their strong suit. So Alabama's in a good position to win it all at a great number, and if that Sasser health in Houston isn't right, Alabama's number could drop from seven to lower, so lock it in early and watch the money roll in. Which brings us to number one, Texas to win the national championship at plus 1900. So this is the alternate storytelling, right? If Houston isn't quite 100%, Texas is in that same region and they could be the team to win it all. And what fun that would be at plus 1900. Talk about getting hot at the right time. Interim coach Rodney Terry's team is peaking right now and Texas stormed through the Big 12 tournament, winning its three games by an average of 13.3 points and clinching that title after running away from defending national champion Kansas on Saturday night in its second double digit victory over the Jayhawks in just eight days. The Longhorns have a lot going for them. They're battle-tested, they're experienced, and they feature nine players who average at least 12 minutes per game. If Houston Sasser isn't right, Texas could win their bracket, launch themselves into the Final Four, and could bring home that title of national champion. And at plus 1,900, what an investment that could be. Well, there you have it, everybody. Those are my favorite March Madness bets for 2023. I want to hear from you, though. What are your predictions? What are your favorite bets? Drop them in the comments below. Subscribe, like this video, share as well, and don't forget to click that little bell to let goes ding for notifications. And don't forget to join the free contest where you can win amazing things. Again, bettingpros.com slash contest or just go to the Betting Pros app. Get your bracket in throw your hat in the ring, win some cool stuff, and have some fun. That'll do it for me, Joey P. We'll see you next time, kids.